to answer your questions about skin health with the wonderful Monica, who is here to answer all of your questions. And I'm sorry about the delay. We had a few um, technology issues as we do <laughs> in the startup world. But in any event, uh, Vamika is here to talk to us about skin health and the skin issues that we face in, especially in the Indian summer that we have to live through now. <laughs> and so I wanted to start off with my own questions because I have been noticing since I have moved here from America that I have a lot of uh, pigmentation and dullness issues. And um, of course, those are always made worse by the by exposure to sunlight. So Vamika, can you tell us a little bit about sun damage? Well, yes, I think this is a major topic. Everybody is worried about pigmentation and the sun damage, especially dullness that is causing due to being tanned or I guess just due to really high um, dryness on the skin. But you're okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> so anyways, I was saying, uh, make sure that you guys are applying your SPF, your sunscreen, you need to apply it at least three times in a day. And I don't mean by applying two tablespoons of it, I think that's completely crazy. But definitely you need to, you know, just apply about three dots here, three dots here, three dots here, and make sure you Put it all over the face. Do not leave your neck. This is something that you guys need to know. Even when you apply a moisturizer, make sure you are applying on your face and your neck. Second of all, I really recommend you guys to, you know, Facebook, I mean, uh, face packs at home, which are DIYs, use turmeric. Turmeric is a great way of fighting pigmentation. It actually, uh, you know, you can get, because of its antibacterial properties, you can work with it and you can actually make some great face packs. You land up drinking it also. You can have your, you know, turmeric latte. You can put it in your, you know, haldi ka dood or whatever. And this will also help you. So remember, you need to work on your insides and then will the outside shine, right? Other than that, um, for dryness and dullness, I truly, truly live by this coconut oil, uh, witch hazel, um, what we say, the, you know, the spray or the toner, or you can even use aloe vera. There is nothing better than aloe vera for your pigmentation, from your dullness, from anything. Take fresh aloe vera. All you need to do is you need to uh, remove from the plant, remove the sides of the aloe vera, dip it in water for about 20 minutes, and then cut it from between. And you can just apply it just like that, even if you don't want to mix it with anything else, but apply it on your face. That is the safest thing. Besides that, I truly, truly recommend for dullness uh, and dryness, please apply some clays. Clays are great. They're so easy to find in India. There's ben uh, bentonite clay. You can find kaolin clay. These are great clays to remove the dirt that is there because we are literally living in the worst of pollution. I mean, you guys know that. So to fight that, to get that dirt out from the layer of your skin, you need to apply some clay and pull it out from there. Awesome. Thank you. That's so helpful. Actually, as I was uh, taking a sip of my water, I realized that it is very, very important for us all to stay hydrated. Yes. <laughs> so my personal tip is please, Pani Pio Sub or Pina Chayi, you should have more water every day than you do, especially in this horrifying heat that we have to deal with. And especially even, so can you talk a little bit about sort of hydration and skin health? Definitely. So hydration is obviously drinking your water, which I agree with, but you need to hydrate your skin by moisturizing it. And please do not be a conjuice. <laughs> moisturize your skin properly. I don't rec I literally say this moisturize in the evening, morning, night, middle of the day, whatever, carry it in your back, but keep moisturizing your skin. Other than that, you have got to drink your water, make sure you're hydrated. And if you uh, try and put some lemon in water, which is also great for hydration. We have a question that has come up about how can I treat sunburn? Now, what I suggest for treating sunburn, uh, the one of the best, again, turmeric is great. Other than that, aloe vera is really good to, to treat sunburn. So you can actually, like I said, apply it just the way it is from the plant or even use your, or you can buy um, aloe vera gel. The one I recommend is from Nature's Tattva. I've been using it for a while now. So you can actually use that uh, gel and apply it on your sunburns and I'm sure it will help. Awesome. Um, and so I just wanted to ask really quickly. So we will be talking a little bit about things that you can do on your own, but we would definitely love any experiences for you to share with us, any experiences that you have with your own, with things that have worked for you or things that you have issues with. And you can share with us now during this live, or you can go online to fanhealth.in or onto our Facebook or Instagram pages and ask us Whatever questions you have, and Vamika and I will do our very best to try and get to it as quickly as we can. 
Yes. Um, <laughs> we have another question, um, but the pollution is so high, why moisturizer? First of all, pollution has nothing to do with the moisturizer. You have got to make your skin soft and you've got to moisturize it. Pollution is a completely different category when it comes to your skin. Why I say this? Because you need to remove the pollution from your skin, which is there in your pores. That is why you need to use kaolin clay, bentonite clay, or even charcoal. But moisturizing your skin, if you don't moisturize it, you're going to have flaky skin, you're going to have white patches, you're going to have high, very high, bad pigmentation, you're going to have these dirty spots, which you don't want. So please don't do this to yourself. Make sure you apply a moisturizer. Yep. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to ask about, I think we already kind of have talked about it a little bit, but is just dryness of the skin. So I have noticed that maybe, I don't know if it's the pollution or sun exposure, but I have found that my skin has become really dry. And I, and I get sort of these like, I mean, we've patchiness. already talked about it. Yeah, sort of patchiness. So is yeah. there anything, so other than just using your classic daily moisturizer, is there anything else that we need to be doing in order to kind of make that yes. available. So definitely if you are dealing with really high dryness, then I really recommend using a serum. You can find the right kind of serum for your skin. You need to ask a dermatologist for that. I cannot recommend that to you because I don't know what skin type you have, depending on is it dry, sensitive, oily, maybe one patch of yours is sensitive, the other patch is dry. So you need to be very careful with those areas. You cannot apply everywhere you feel like it. So for example, I was dealing with a very slight acne on this side of my cheek, but my doctor told me that the dryness, the, the pack that she gave me to apply, she said only apply it on that area. Don't apply it everywhere on your skin because you don't want to ruin all the other where it's not affected. So you, if you want to, if you're feeling like, you know, you have some patchiness on your cheek or something, definitely apply a serum that is recommended by your doctor and you can apply it on that area. Besides that, please, for your own sake this summer, definitely use DIYs. Do it at home. Use papaya, use banana, use aloe vera. All these things are great for your skin. And if you want, you can uh, follow me on my page, which is Vamika Beauty on my YouTube channel. And I do all home remedies, DIY, super fun stuff, which you can follow me. And I talk about all these topics. Yep. Awesome. Um, so one of the other things that we, one of the other things, so we've gotten a, a question about ki hum hindi mein kyun baat kar rahe hain. hum hindi mein bhi baat kar sakte hain. Um, um, so far, in case you need the recap, ki, uh, moisturize karna chahiye pehle to, aur fir... um, first is sunscreen. I mean, you need, I mean, sorry. Sorry. No, first is if you, if you're recommended a serum, then first you put your serum, then you put your moisturizer, then you put your sunscreen, then you put your primer. If you need to put on your makeup and you then can move and leave your house. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, so one of the other things I wanted to talk to you about was hair care. So we think about skin as sort of obviously central to our uh, face and looks, but um, another, another part of your skin is actually your hair. And I've also noticed in the summer and in the pollution that I've been experiencing a little bit of um, hair loss. Yeah. So I uh, was wondering if you have any tips on that. Definitely. You guys, um, believe it or not, my mom has given me this recipe, this remedy. It's onions. Onions are actually great. It stinks, but you don't understand. It is the best thing for your hair. You need to grind that onion up, get that juice out, put some curd in it. And the curd is what is going to moisturize your ends and your hair. And then if you want to uh, put some castor oil, put some coconut oil, put your vitamin E, argan oil, whatever oil that you like for your hair, add it on and make a hair pack and spoil yourself. You guys have got to spoil yourself. Do it once a week or all your hair put and for hair fall onions is magic and even ginger so if you want maybe you you know there's some baldness that you have maybe in an area or a patchy area what you can do is take some ginger raw ginger grind it up make it watery put it in the fridge for a bit so it's nice and watery put it in a cotton and then just apply it on that area so these things really really help and this is not one of those remedies which your grandmother told you which don't work now trust me live by them i am living by them and i'm really happy okay um so the other thing that I, so we talked a little bit, Monica mentioned a little bit about, um, about spoiling yourself. So we asked you that if we buy these creams, does it not become too costly for us to keep up the habit of um, maintaining good skin health? Um, 
आपका ये जो टॉपिक है बहुत ही रेलिवेंट है क्योंकि सारे प्रॉब्लम्स एक्चुअली शुरू होते हैं कि सारी चीजें एक्सपेंसिव होती हैं लेकिन मैं आपको अगर सच बताऊं मैं जो मॉइस्चराइजर यूज कर रही हूं वो तीन सौ रुपए का है और मैं एक्चुअली केमिस्ट से खरीद के लाई हूं मैं बिलीव करती हूं कि आपको जो रेकमेंड किया है वो पांच हजार का होना है तो फिर ऐसा नहीं कि वो ही चलेगा बहुत चीजें हैं जो आपको दो सौ तीन सौ चार सौ में मिल सकते हैं ये अगर आप देखना चाहते हैं मैं एलोवेरा जेल या ये केओलिन क्ले या बेंटनाइट ले ये सारे जो मैं यूज करती हूँ वो मैं नेचर तत्व से खरीदती हूँ उनका जो प्राइस रेंज है वो है फाइव हंड्रेड उनके जो ऑयल्स है वाइटामिन वो सब भी बहुत ही रीजनेबल है तो ऐसा नहीं कि आपको सारी चीजें एक्सपेंसिव मिलेंगी लेकिन डेफिनेटली थोड़ा सा तो आपको स्पेंड करना पड़ेगा अपने ऊपर थोड़ा टाइम देना पड़ेगा और डी करो आप घर पे बैठ के होम रेमेडीज करो बेसन लगाओ पपाया लगाओ बनाना लगाओ कुछ भी बट मेक श्योर दैट आपको अपना स्किन टाइप पता है बिफोर आप कुछ लगाए अपने स्किन पे एंड इफ यू फॉलो वामिका ब्यूटी शी हैज अट ऑफ ग्रेट टिप्स अबाउट डी आई वाई हर मेक यूर ओन थिंग्स एट होम and using the ingredients that you know we can find in our amazing indian kitchens yes absolutely like literally aap baithe honge ghar pe aur aapke paas sari ingredients padi hongi aur aap sochoge ki maine pehle kyun nahi use kiya to please go to my channel and make sure you have subscribed and dekhiye sari videos aur aapko aap literally aap bahut hi khush ho jayenge kyunki results sachchi mein are outstanding um okay so we have a question on um we have a question on bad under eye bags and how we can get rid of that so under eye bags i can tell you are also mainly really a huge problem and for a lot of women i know especially in india our bags under your eyes and dark circles has become very problematic so i mean you have any recommendation yes i do actually have done a video on it maine um, potato use kiya tha aloo आलू को मैंने ग्राइंड करके उसका पानी निकाल के मैंने थोड़ी देर के लिए फ्रिज में रखा था उसके बाद पानी निकाला मैंने फिर से कॉटन लिया कॉटन को डिप करके फिर मैंने अपने अंडर आइज पे डाला ये बहुत ही अच्छा एजेंट है अंडर आई को लाइटन करने में और दूसरा चीज जो मैं रेकमेंड करती हूँ वो है ग्रीन टी ग्रीन टी तो सबको ही पता है उसके एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट प्रॉपर्टीज है वो लाइटन भी करता है डार्क सर्कल्स को तो डेफिनेटली वो दूसरा चीज है जो आप एक बार ही आप अपना ग्रीन टी पानी में डिप कीजिए ब्रू कीजिए गर्म पानी में निकाल के उसको फ्रिज में डालिए ठंडा करिए और फिर आप अपने अंडर आई पे अप्लाई कर सकते हैं अगर आपको पूरा वीडियो देखना है तो आप प्लीज मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल पे देख सकते हैं ऑसम सो यू नो one of the things that one of the other things that um, we've been asked is about acne and pimples which is also of course a huge problem aur yahan pe jab itni pollution hoti hai to clogs bhi thode pores pores bhi thode clog ho jate hain to fir uska kya kare to uske liye aap clays use karo because uh, केओलिन क्ले बेंटनाइट क्ले एक्चुअली पोर्स को श्रिंक करता है दे आर नोन टू श्रिंक द पोर्स उसके लिए आपको डर्ट निकालने के लिए आपको क्ले यूज करना पड़ेगा अब यही बात है कि आप प्लीज अपना स्किन ग्रेल पहले देख लिया अगर आपके पास ड्राई स्किन है तो आप केओलिन क्ले यूज कीजिए विच हेजल के साथ अगर आपके पास यू नो ऑयली स्किन है देन आई डू नॉट रिकमेंड यू यूजिंग विच हेजल क्ले आई रिकमेंड यू यूजिंग दैट इज समथिंग दैट इज नॉट टू ऑयली फॉर स्किन समथिंग दैट इज ड्राई इट आउट तो इस चीज के लिए आपको मेरे यूट्यूब पर देखना पड़ेगा क्योंकि मेरे पास बहुत ही ज्यादा आपको पता करना चाहिए दूसरे लोगों से थोड़ी बात करना की हाँ मेरा स्किन ऐसा है मेरा स्किन वैसा है सो वर आर यू डूंग वर आर यू डूंग और अगर आपको वो ऐसी बात करनी है प्लीज फील फ्री टू रीच आउट टू अस हमारे फेसबुक पे आप अपना जो भी आपका स्किन टाइप है जो भी है आप कुछ आप बस बता दीजिए हमें और हम आपको कनेक्ट कर देंगे किसी और से होपफुली जिसको yes. वो भी प्रॉब्लम हो रही है और आप हमारे फैम हेल्थ डॉट इन पेज पे भी जा सकते हैं और यू कैन डू द सेम थिंग विच इज जाके अपनी प्रॉब्लम के बारे में बात करो कोई ये नहीं है कि क्वेश्चन पूछना पड़ता है ऐसा कुछ नहीं जस्ट शेयर योर स्टोरी and we will try and help you find the best solution for your specific needs absolutely and that's true of everything not just skin health so please come and share all of your experiences with us while we're um here to talk to you yes so what is the next question we just got a lot of thanks you guys are welcome acha <laughs> we had some questions about fungus but i think fungal issues are better dealt with you should probably talk to your dermatologist kyunki hum to yahan pe koi We're not certified to give you that kind yes, of info. Yes, that's true. We can give you our tips that we have that we can you know sort of cure it based on our knowledge. But we can't tell you what to do with the fungal infection because then we have a lot of liability. 
Um, so just sort of moving on along and discussing more things to do with health is, um, I think we mentioned skin health generally, but we also wanted to talk a little bit about sort of the things that we do during the summer more, such as for women, shaving, waxing, uh, you know, maybe laser hair removal. So that's all that our skin is not necessarily only facial skin, but the skin has its effects on it and what can we do to make those effects better? So um, I definitely recommend face shaving, which is uh, like, I don't know why women in India can't understand. I mean, I have started thinking that, oh my God, I'm shave my face and I'm going to shave my face and I'm going to shave my face. No, Actually, uh, face shaving is actually great. Your whole dryness is removed when you apply your makeup, it will be completely clear and clean. And according to me, when you shave your face without moisturizing it before, it will be completely clear and clean. And according to me, when you shave your face without moisturizing it before, you actually land up getting lesser hair on your face if that's what you are dealing with. So I don't think there's anything wrong with shaving anywhere on your body. I think it's completely fine. Make sure you moisturize after you have applied it. And if you have cuts, wounds, anything, make sure you apply something cooling agent, which is maybe an aloe vera or maybe even a, a turmeric would help you to um, completely, you know, remove the scars or, you know, give you that extra coolness for that area of yours, which has been cut. Okay, sorry about that. I'm just responding to some questions. Um, okay, let's see what other questions we have gotten. <laughs> I play golf and I got a bad tan on my hand. How can I get rid of it? Okay, so um, you can actually do a homemade uptan. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people know this who have been married. They get to do a pre-bridal uptan that happens before their big day. So this is actually one of the best remedies that you can do. You can use kasturi turmeric, some uh, basin, some uh, licorice, mix it together with curd or malai and scrub it all over your body. Put on the fan is what I recommend because that's when the it starts drying up a little bit and you can keep scrubbing, scrubbing and you will see the dirt coming out. It is amazing. You can't get better than that. Okay. Um, what is the first thing you should do before getting ready for your skin to get a tattoo? That's an interesting question. Um, I have many tattoos, so I can tell you that... Um, <laughs> I have none. <laughs> I cannot answer this question. The best thing you can do is leave the area um, sort of bare for a little while before your tattoo. At least according to my tattoo artist. I don't know about everyone else, but um, you, if you leave the skin bare, then when... So essentially when you get a tattoo, you're making little holes in yourself. So for that to happen, it becomes like an open wound. Not an open wound, but it becomes like a wound. If you've ever gotten a tattoo, you scab So you should um, take care of it accordingly. So you know, just like any infection, the chance of it that becomes higher if you put something on top of like a wound. So in the same way before, you shouldn't have anything that'll sort of react badly with uh, getting hurt there. And uske baad, fir, uh, there's a whole thing of skincare, jo aapke tattoo artists bhi samjhate hai, ki you should use a special kind of soap, a special kind of cleaner, uh, taki infection ki risk bar na jai. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's see, sorry, I have to turn my head this way to see if you have any questions. Acha. Um, so the other thing that we can talk about is um, you mentioned haldi before. Yes. And I know either be or America maybe aajkal bohot iska bohot upyog ho raha ki you should use haldi in drinks. In drinks, you should use haldi in all these different kinds of ways, and you know the Ayurvedic benefits. So can you tell us a little bit about? I know you mentioned it a little bit earlier, but for the people who are just joining and in general, can you talk a little bit about? Um, the different kinds of haldi and kya jo jo hum kitchen mein jo use karte hain wo face pe wo use karte hain ya kuch aur use karte hain and if you can just tell us i know you have your your uh your uh, beauty channel that everyone should subscribe to but um just for now yeah sure so um i do not recommend using your uh you know, the kitchen that you have in the kitchen, that you put in the I don't recommend that haldi to be used on your face because it leaves a stain. You use kasturi haldi, which comes, it's a pure haldi. It actually won't be that yellow. You will notice it when you buy it. And other than that, for your um, turmeric latte, which has become such a booming thing in America or wherever, we were drinking the milk, but honestly, turmeric latte, why I prefer it is because I don't use dairy products, I use almond milk. 
um, main thing is that I do not use the powder of turmeric. I use fresh turmeric. So get the, uh, you know, turmeric from your vegetable market. It's basically the small, peel it up, nicely grind it out, and then put it in your turmeric latte. That's when you actually get the benefits and you can absorb it in your body. But by applying your ghar ki sabji wali turmeric is not going to help you. That's for sure. <laughs> Um, and also just a little bit of background on haldi. Usme jo active ingredient hota hai, uska naam hai curcumin. And that is what has all the great anti-inflammatory properties. Yes. So anti you should... Bacterial. Uh, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. Yes. Wo sab us curcumin mein hote hai. And you have to have enough of it to actually uh, make the active ingredients work. Yeah, so, ye ki aapne ek bari, ek mahine mein and you see some, uh, you know... Jadu, <laughs> um, so if you have any questions, please continue to submit them and submit them on famhealth.in in our communities. And if iske baad agar koi hai questions, to wo aap baha submit kar sakte hai on famhealth.in and Vamika and I will do our best to answer your questions as soon as we can. Lekin abhi ke liye please pooche aur hume question aaya ki um, pehle to are the same remedies used by men and women for removal of stretch marks? Yes. Okay, and can we talk a little bit? Can maybe be, I mean, I think a lot of us have dealt with... You coconut know, oil. Coconut oil? That's it. <laughs> That's all you need. Lagate <laughs> raho coconut oil, guys. Coconut Everywhere. oil. Ye aapko, uh, you'll get those bio something stretch marks ad aati hai, wo sab, they all are also good. I'm not saying that. But honestly, ghar bete bete coconut oil se better stretch marks ke liye aur kuch hai. So, you're fine. Coconut oil is another thing that I feel like has become um, sort of like a trend yes, in definitely. Uh, skin health and beauty. So, you can tell me that Coconut oil, say, obviously, you have mentioned stretch marks. Like in or kya, what are the other uses for it? Hair does magic for your hair. I'm sure everybody knows about that. Up that you have coconut, but you can even <laughs> apply it on your lashes. You can apply it on your eyebrows to grow thicker, luscious, beautiful, shiny lashes, whatever you want. And besides that, you can apply it even on your face fats. So something that is, uh, you know, maybe you can uh, mix it up with a papaya, a papaya uh, and a curd, and then apply some coconut oil in it and use it as a face pack, which is great. So many things can be done by these a few. Turmer I mean, sorry, turmeric, um, coconut oil, uh, castor oil, vitamin E oil. These are like must-haves for your house and more than anything, aloe vera. Aloe vera seems to be the hit. Killing it. Yeah, we <laughs> need to all have aloe vera. Yes. Um, so the other thing I was going to ask you is that, um, so oils in general. So mm -hmm. how, so for me, one of the things, and this is not necessarily summer masif, but when we go to makeup, so what's the best makeup remover in your opinion? Because I have heard that oils use oil. But do you think that's true? Absolutely, you can use the oil, coconut oil. There we go. It is the best makeup remover. I'm sure you Search it anywhere in Google, they will say it's the best makeup remover. But if you do not want an oil base, then you can use the um, Garnier one. I think it's some Miss Q, I, I don't know the name of it, something it is, which is also great. So there's nothing like that. But definitely if you're going in for oil, you can't beat the coconut oil. Awesome. Um, and just again, related to the, uh, related to makeup. So of course, makeup has its own and, and you are obviously the authority to talk to about makeup, but <laughs> do you find, especially given your day-to-day -day job and what you do, um, you know, on your make, creating these amazing makeup looks for your uh, for your YouTube, do you find any issues related to you know increased amounts of oily? Like, do you have any difference that you feel in your skin from using makeup? And if not, what do you do to sort of prevent those issues? Definitely products matter. Um, many products don't suit me. I'm not going to name them, but there are a few products that do not suit my skin and I break out. So please know what exactly you're using, what suits you more. I believe uh, that, um, you know, people are crazy nowadays about full coverage and everything is about full coverage. But what you need to know is that even if you're buying something that is a full coverage, make sure it is not too thick for your skin. It's not too thick as a foundation because trust me it's going to look it's just going to close all the pores so don't do that but definitely it's not about the makeup it's the steps that you do before makeup it's what you apply before your sunscreen your moisturizer your serums or whatever you do before is what is important to get the perfect look for your makeup your makeup can look completely sorry to use the word shit or completely dirty if you have not got your steps right from the beginning awesome so uh, another question we got is summers may blackheads yada ho jate uh, so what should one do to remove those? Uh, charcoal. Charcoal powder is 
phenomenal to remove blackheads and whiteheads. Make sure you, um, you know, you can do the face pack at least once in two weeks, but definitely get the right charcoal. I do not recommend going on uh, Amazon and just typing down charcoal powder and you get anything. Um, the one I use from Nature's Patwa, which you can get it, it's from the coconut shell. It is great, so you can apply that. And so does that, that actually remove the blackheads? Yes, it does. And uh, obviously, if you have really deep blackheads, then definitely you need to go to a dermatologist and get your skin uh, tested and you need to get a cleanup done. But your minor ones, before they become big, treat them and start doing DIYs at home. Awesome. Um, so yeah, so again, for the minor ones, are there any preventives that you can think of? So not just the remove cardia, but what should we be doing so that we can prevent more blackheads from breaking out? So definitely, um, uh, you need the right moisturizer and believe it or not, most importantly, you need the right sunscreen. If you're applying a very thick sunscreen for your skin that doesn't suit you, it's going to make you break out no matter what. Even though you think, oh, it's not about the SPF, it's not about 50 hai to theek hai, 40 hai to theek hai. It is even the type of, at that point of time, at that season, is it summer, winter, spring, autumn? That point of time, when do you need which sunscreen? For example, even if you're traveling right now for your summer vacation to London or Paris or wherever you're going, you need to find out from your dermatologist which is the right sunscreen to be used for that particular city because even that matters. Awesome. So uh, another question we have is, we've talked about this a little early on, but obviously we have a question that we answer karenge ki I have really dry skin on my face during the summer here and I have the same problem, so I totally feel you. Uh, what products would you recommend I use to moisturize? So, um, sorry. okay, so um, I will uh, tell you the moisturizer I'm using. I'm actually using a moisturizer called Imoline Cream. You can find this in a chemist. It is for 299 rupees. I swear by it because I have dry skin. Um, literally, it is all depending on the skin type. Please do not, just because I have told you about Imoline, please don't go and buy Imoline. I really suggest you need to know your skin type. She's saying that she has dry skin. So I'm telling her because of that. And I have acne pro skin also. So that's why I've chosen a moisturizer, which is Imoline, because it has a water base in it. Even my sunscreen is water based sunscreen. Even my moisturizer is water based because of my acne issues. Awesome, thank you. Um, the next one is, how do I prevent my hair from getting white? Also, it gets very dry. So again, um, hair issues, especially, yes, in pollution, our hair, my hair dries out super quickly. Somehow it manages to dry out at the end and get super oily in the in, I don't even know what's going on. I so mommy, please help me. So definitely, uh, first thing is uh, castor oil. My God, it is a magic. It will literally convert your hair black. I'm not joking. It has happened. That's what I apply on my lashes also on my eyebrows and definitely a must have for your hair. And it is very high in vitamin E. So if you have vitamin E oil and you don't have castor oil, you can even apply that. Besides that for moisturizing it, believe it or not, I actually just did a DIY at home in which I took uh, rose water and I applied it on my hair as one of the moisturizers. So, uh, I mean, there's such amazing things that we have in India that you can apply. And I'm pretty sure you have these things at home and you have not, never thought that you can apply these things on your hair or your mm -hmm. face. So uh, rose water is great. Make a pack at home. Use um, rose water with curd. Use rose, rose water with neem. Neem is great for you removing dandruff from your hair. So you can apply that. And um, I think he was asking me also. Um, uh, yeah, he said getting white. Getting white. So uh, for, for your white hair, definitely castor oil is going to be the best thing. But for uh, making your hair, you know, lustrous and making it shine, I do recommend uh, curd. I recommend uh, using... Um, uh, what do we say, the rose water and make lots of these hair packs with uh, with these uh, milk, curd and egg actually. You were just talking about what I wanted to get to was you were saying that my your scalp becomes oily and your hair is mm -hmm. dry. So um, actually if your scalp is oily then I recommend using a white of egg. So just take a white of egg, remove the yellow from it, whisk it up properly and then you can apply it as your hair pack. But if you have uh, dry ends then apply the yellow yolk on your hair on your ends and apply the white um, uh, of egg just on your um, scalp area. I have Literally never thought of that. Yes. Um, <laughs> that sounds great. And you use all the egg. Um, so the next question we have is, I'm prone to tanning. What should I do? So uh, just straight off the bat, I want to say, keep tanning me. There's nothing that bad about tanning. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, I personally, I love being a little bit tan. Um, but I know that sun exposure, 
more than tanning, it's a dullness that happens to your skin. Yes. So to bring out that sort of uh, brightness, Nikhar ke liye Vrasa, can you give us some tips? Uktan. Do Uktan. I swear there's nothing else that you can do for removing it. Okay. Don't try anything. Yes. Swami, what is Uktan? So Uktan is basically, it's like, you know, so before brides get married to their special day, they get this Uktan done on their hands and their legs and it's a yellow color one and they scrub it on you, you know, you're like a, I don't know, like a fresh woman ready to, you know, get married or whatever. And Anyways, what, what goes into So that? what goes into it oh, you is, said um, yes, uh, I said a licorice, um, kasturi methi, um, you can put uh, mustard, which is great to scrub it out, uh, malai. Or you can add curd and uh, hal uh, I already said kasturi, uh, maybe. So that's what the yellowness comes from it. And apply lots of base in it and scrub the shit out of your body <laughs> while you're in the shower. And this is a family fun. health channel. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> so the next question we have is I have heat damage. You have, this, our writer has heat damaged hair from straightening hair frequently, which is a very good point. Um, any good methods to prevent damage or restore the moisture in her hair per, like following heat damage based on straightening? Yes, so uh, if you are straightening your hair, then I do uh, recommend you applying a serum before. So you can apply whichever oil serum that you use uh, after your hair wash. Make sure you apply that so it's giving at least a little bit of protection to your hair. But keeping all of the serums and all of those fancy things aside, please do yourself a favor and oil your hair. Once a week, oil it up, make uh, make that extra effort and keep it moisturized. Okay, so that was gonna be my question which is, we have heard a lot about ye oil use kar sakte ya wo oil use kar sakte hai. aap personally kya use karte ho on a weekly basis jo hum follow kar sakte so that we can all be uh, as beautiful as you are. <laughs> no promises, I make no promises. <laughs> so um, I actually do um, one pack in a week, different types. I somehow, I sometimes do just oiling, which is uh, your normal, uh, I mix up castor oil, uh, coconut oil, argan oil, and I make a pack. I mean, I just, you know, mix that up and apply it on my hair when I'm lazy. But if I want to make a little more of an effort, then I definitely take onion. If I'm feeling like I'm having hair fall, then I'll take the onion juice. I'll take some curd. I'll take um, my favorite oils and I'll put them together. Again, castor oil, coconut oil are always there in my favorite oils. And um, I'll mix that up together and apply that. And besides that, if you want another one, then uh, like I said, rose water is magic. Put some rose water in a pack, put some curd, put some neem if you're feeling itchy because usually my, my problem is dryness. So I actually feel my scalp is itchy. So then I apply some neem powder. You can um, make it at home, uh, take some neem leaves, dry them up, put it in a grinder and your neem powder is made. If you don't want to make that kind of effort, you can buy from Nature Sattva online and they have the box of neem powder. Mix that up, two tablespoons of it, put one tablespoon of curd, put your rose water inside, put your favorite oils inside, mix it up and apply it on your hair and spoil yourself. So you think that uh, your routine varies based on what yes. you've been sort of going through? Uh -huh. Yes, definitely. And obviously, we would recommend that you do the same thing. With I don't recommend sleeping with the oil. I definitely do not. I feel like it, uh, it you know, increases the itchiness and dryness and um, gives it like, you know, dandruff. So definitely keep it on for like two hours. Enjoy it. Keep it on for two hours, but then make sure you wash your hair after that. Um, okay, so the next question we have is um, how to color... A salt and pepper beard and a gray mustache. Okay. How to color? Oh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, well, I, I don't, I don't, okay. Swear to God, I've never colored my hair in my life. So I don't know. What? But yeah, never. This Not even as my, a child? No, never. I hate it. I, I don't know. I'm very happy with my hair color. Yeah. Never but tried We love it. your hair color now, but. No, no, but I never tried it. It's, it was just, I was very scared that, you know, something's going to happen to my hair. So never tried it. But um, please don't color your hair. I mean, you don't need to. Just. Just like apply, you know, oils or uh, do, I don't know, apply henna. I guess that's way better than applying your uh, color, which are completely, you know, have so many chemicals in it. It's just going to make you, I mean, you're going to regret it later. So don't do this to yourself. But what if he wants to have a beautiful brown, black beard and mustache? Then I suggest for the time being, just take a <laughs> mascara and uh, <laughs> put it in there and go for your date. I don't know, but uh, don't harm yourself. Make sure you come back and wash it off. <laughs> don't sleep with it. Uh, that's great. Um, okay, so just let us know if you have any other questions. We are here for you. But in the meantime, 
you know, Vamika, do you have any? I think we have some questions Oops. here, but I can't read them. Yeah, we can't read those questions, unfortunately. If someone could help us out, that would be great. <laughs> um, but so do you have any general um, dietary tips on how to better, like, how our, what we eat reflects onto our skin? Absolutely. And sort of um, how much we should be thinking about that and what you try to do to have good and clear skin um, based on your diet. So everything depends on your diet. I am, uh, I eat non-veg, I am, I like everything. But um, I, I've just stopped dairy very recently. So I'm not some crazy, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy with it because I feel like my body has become much lighter. My skin has started glowing. So I do recommend you guys to shift and try having nut milk because it is a phenomenal change. Other than that, definitely start having some smoothies at home. I even do those. So you can follow me on my Instagram page, Bamika Mathur, and you can see some fun smoothies and um, fun, you know, dips and chips and everything which I do, which are healthy. So I suggest have, you know, in this hot weather try to keep your stomach cool have like beetroot juices smoothies have papaya smoothies have some you know curd dip some anything that'll keep your stomach happy and cool awesome thank you um so the next question we have is what is a good remedy for um or product for dry palms or calluses developed while playing racket sports and golf in the summer can tell you that i don't play golf or play racket sports so i'm not sure that i have the right response to that <laughs> question um but moisturize yourself honestly yeah. and please just use gloves if you're working out or whatever whenever you get those things it is obviously safer to use gloves or to prevent it but definitely keep yourself moisturized if you're finding it that the dryness is so much that it's peeling off your skin then i do recommend you applying an oil you can actually apply vitamin e oil because it is thicker but definitely very good and it will cure it you can actually mix it up with some vaseline mix up vitamin e and vaseline together and apply it i recommend that even for lips if your lips are pigmented or you're feeling very high dryness then mix up some uh, vaseline with your vitamin e oil and apply it all over it is great for super dry skin awesome and if any of you have any suggestions or have any um sort of experience from what to do when playing sports and you know things that we don't necessarily have the answer to we would love for you to share um and we want to build the sense of conversation that we're having here so just let us know if there's anything um so the next question we have is whenever we this whenever our um, rider visits a, a water park, his skin gets badly affected and it gets um, dry and tan. So why is that and why is that worse at the water park and how can he prevent it? Okay, so first of all, you need to buy yourself a waterproof sunscreen, my friend. <laughs> go do that and apply shitload of it because you need to. You are going to go and that's why it's waterproof. So maybe you're applying the wrong sunscreen and you're getting into the water and that's why your skin is happening this way. But once you will apply a waterproof one, you'll be fine. Yeah, and even if your sunscreen is waterproof, make sure you keep applying it while you're yes. at the water park because even the waterproof sunscreens will start to um, fade away you know, like fade two away. hours to three hours. Exactly, definitely. and the reason that it's happening more at the water park is one, if you're putting on sunscreen, it's washing off, and two, um, you are at the water park constantly exposed to sun uh, exposure. Jaise hum, these days, we don't do it. We go to the office and go to We try to stay indoors, but in water park, mein, inevitably, you obviously have to be outside. So that's why uh, it's worse. Um, so we got a question saying, I want to shed some holiday weight quickly. Any recommendations? Although this is not next, necessarily the topic of this conversation. Just saying I'm not a dietitian. <laughs> but thanks for this question. Maybe you can recommend me something. <laughs> I'm going on a holiday. I need to lose that weight. Um, I just stop eating, man. No, <laughs> no, no, that is not. That is a joke. It's a joke. Do not stop it's eating. It's a um, joke, guys. Eat healthier. There are a lot of things that we eat on a day to day in our diet, especially as Indians, that are not that good for you. Um, get into soups, start having some soups at home, uh, smoothies, you know, eat your fruits, avoid heavy rotis, chavals, keep it easy on that. I'm not saying don't eat it, I'm just saying, okay, you know. Quantity. Quantity is what you need to do. And exercise. you got to do it. That's the only way you're going to get that summer body. Mm -hmm. um, so actually on that, it says, what workouts do you recommend to lose weight? To lose weight, you should be doing cardio. I can give you that answer pretty confidently. But um, just remember, losing weight is not always the ultimate goal. It is, of course, for a lot of people. But you also should be working towards building a healthier lifestyle and not just for the vanity of losing weight, but because 
you know, um, obesity is a big issue. Diabetes is a big issue in this country and it's getting bigger every day. So, um, you know, definitely keep in mind that um, we should be trying to make healthier lifestyles for ourselves for a greater good than just losing a few vanity pounds. Yes, um, absolutely. You will, once you will work on your food, you will be able to feel actually good about yourself. Exactly. So you need to first work on your food. Then besides you going on the gym and running in the treadmill for two hours and you're coming back depressed. So don't do that. Just eat right and do functional training, do cardio, but just make sure even if you're doing it half an hour to 40 minutes, you're fine, but your food has to be good. Yep. That's right. Um, so the next question I got is thoughts on keto. So I actually drew keto. So this is one of the uh, things that, you know, I can speak about a little bit more clearly because I've had the benefit of being able to go online and have a community to talk to about ki keto, kaise karte hai, kya kha sakte hai, kya nahi kha sakte hai. And if you want to help and if you want to build my community on keto with me, go online to famhealth.in, ask these same questions. I'm happy to answer them based on mere jo experiences hai. And when you're talking about keto, a lot of people think this is just a way to lose weight. And it absolutely is. If you, so in case you don't know ki ketogenic diet kya hota hai, wo hota hai ki, um, low carbs, medium levels of protein and really high amounts of fat. So when I say it doesn't sound like you're going to lose weight, but weight loss is because when you starve your body of carbs, it learns how to, your body naturally learns how to convert the fat in your body into fuel. So that's what keto is. And um, it's not just good for people who have weight issues, it's also really good for people who have PCOD. And not a lot of people know that the uh, low carb diet is really essential to uh, to PCOD and for pre diabetics and for diabetics. He it's about cutting out carbs. Now yes, it's a healthier lifestyle, definitely. Yeah. So and and I mean you should have now keto in its pure form is high fat and low carb, and I think for us that's a little bit difficult to do. Yeah. And I don't recommend doing it you know, really for the rest of your life, unless it's something that you feel is so crucial to you, because matlab, you have to keep an eye on if keto, I recommend that you go to the doctor and see how your cholesterol levels are looking and you have to pay attention that if you know, one aspect you improve, you have to be more holistic about it, that in every area, how is my cholesterol, uh, how, how are my insulin levels, how are my hormone levels, because Jab aap aisa drastic change karoge, especially with keto, ye hoega ki, um, your body uh, chemistry also changes. So uspe zara aapko attention dena hai aur aapko focus karna hai ki how am I building a more holistic approach to keto? Yes, absolutely. Yep, okay, I have a... Um, so we had to have a question about what makeup, sorry, I have to go like this to view my Instagram screen. Oh, yeah. um, so what uh, makeup products should we be using in the summer? Okay, so um, for the summer, I truly think that you need to first of all have a powder with you in the bag all the time because if you're feeling sweaty, you just need to dab your makeup or um, and keep it right for your makeup. But um, try and use something that is not too oily because it's already so hot. So instead of using a foundation, which is full coverage, I suggest you use a BB cream which is much lighter. It has the SPF also, but again, it has a tint of your moist, uh, of your foundation, which will keep your skin great and glowy and uh, even protected. Is BB cream the same thing as tinted moisturizer? And if not, different scale kit, please. So BB cream has got SPF and tinted moisturizer is maybe just mixed with moisture. I mean, the like it's a moisturizer mixed with the tint. It's not an SPF, but the BB cream has SPF like 50, 40, and then it has the tint of foundation. Okay, uh, the next question is how to get rid of discoloration on face. So discoloration could be uh, pigmentation, could be uh, patchiness. So again, um, like I spoke about it before, I truly think that you need to use aloe vera. Aloe vera is great for removing pigmentation and again, uh, kasturi turmeric. Okay, um, and then the next question is, uh, it looks like after going to a hairdresser, uh, this writer has dandruff. Okay. Um, is there anything that we should be doing to control that? 
neem is everything for dandruff um one of the best things that you can do for dandruff to cure it is neem it cures ne uh, dandruff lice itchiness whatever you have great for it and super safe to use so what you can do is um i had said this before that you can take neem leaves you can dry them up grind it put it in a hair pack you can um apply uh, your rose water in it you can apply some curd in it and apply it as a hair pack on your uh, you know on your hair for about an hour and then wash it off Okay, um, let me see if we have any questions. Not yet. Uh, we will wait for your questions. Um, but in the meantime, um, is there anything else that you think that we should be doing that we haven't already talked about that we should be doing in order to keep ourselves skin healthy during the summer? Uh, so drink. Drink a lot of water, drink um, your juices, drink all of that. Definitely that is there. I actually, um, on my YouTube channel, I make these face popsicles for the summer especially. Ooh, so, um, yes, face so basically it's like, um, you know, I have done uh, Multani Mitti face popsicles. I have done papayas. I've done, um, you know, watermelon, all these different kind of face popsicles, which is not only to eat them, but apply it on the face. So when you're feeling super hot, you can take these face popsicles, apply it in the car to so keep your face and body hydrated. So you can try that out and you can go on my YouTube channel to subscribe and see all these face popsicles. Um, okay, so the next question we have is, how can we get glowing skin from home face packs um, if they're so expensive in salons? Like how, how can we sort of maximize our, you know, we've been talking about DIY skin health. So how can we sort of uh, not have these huge expenses for doing face packs at the salon? So uh, first of all, uh, like I said, the DIYs that I'm doing at home are already available in your house. I'm pretty sure you have a papita in your house and you have an anda in your house and you have basin and you have, you know, uh, or things that are readily available. It is all <laughs> the there in your house you know you're not especially going and buying it but i get the point where you're talking about that things are expensive to buy but not everything is expensive to buy like i said the product that i've been using nature Tatwa is actually very budgeted it's 200 300 400 bucks where you can find these great products which you can apply but if you want to make an effort go and you know make it at home you can make your aloe vera gel at home you can make your neem uh, powder at home you can make your what whatever you can do yourself do that but then if you need to buy there are places that are available which are well priced it's not about being cheap but they're well priced and you can purchase them um so what sunblock the next question is what sunblock do you recommend so i actually have had the same problem which is it's taken me a really long time to find a sunscreen that i like because i find a lot of them to be heavy or greasy especially you know in Considering we have to keep putting this on, if I keep putting something greasy on my face, it's going to yeah. clog my pores. So um, sun, sunblock it is all depending on what kind of skin type you have. If you have acne prone skin type and it's dry, you have a se separate sunblock. But if you have just dry skin, you have a separate sunblock. But if you have oily skin, sensitive skin, different, different. They are all separate. So the one that I have been using right now is SPF 30 sunblock, which is uh, Lashi Light. It is not that much of the, uh, the SPF is pretty low because I am going through acne and um, not too much of it, but I'm almost like done with it. But I just want to keep my, I don't want to keep it too heavy on my skin. So that's why as of now I'm using blush shield. Awesome. Um, so one of the things I actually just noticed while fidgeting about is lip, lip sort of health. Yes. And I think a lot of us forget about our lip care as part of skin care. So what, do you have any recommendations? Do you exfoliate? Do you pronounce? How do you deal with your lips? So um, this trick is amazing. All you need to do is uh, take some, um, you know, either you have a brown sugar or take some uh, coconut sugar, whatever you use. I, I, I have coconut sugar because I bake. So I apply that on my lips. I scrub it up and I don't apply my finger when I do it. I take a toothbrush. I take a toothbrush and I nicely rub it in and I exfoliate my lips completely so they pump up and they're pink. And besides that, I truly, and I do this every night, so I'm not just saying it right now, I really recommend you guys taking a drop of uh, vitamin E oil, mixing it up with your Vaseline and applying it on your, on your lips. Trust me, your pigmentation, your dark, you know, any dark area around your lips, everything will be gone. Awesome. Thank you. That's very helpful. Um, the other thing is skin and summer, I have to talk about sweating. Yes. Um, and this is actually a question that I had received while we, you know, in advance of this, which is, 
how do you manage sweating so much in the summer, which is sort of inevitable, but how do you best manage that? Okay, so make sure you guys are applying your deodorant, which is aluminum free. I do not recommend any other deodorant because it is not good for you to use it. There are, you know, chances of people getting cancer, skin problems due to using the aluminum, um, what we say, deodorant. So you can get them uh, here also. There are a lot of people who are organically uh, selling them. Other than that, if anybody is abroad, it is easily available there so aluminium free deodorants is the way to go for you know the sweat patches and all but besides that uh, you can actually make some deodorants at home some packs at home which can help you um, get rid of the sweaty patches I have actually um, just recently made one that's not up on my channel right now but I use kaolin clay as a um, as you know, uh, for the sweaty patches to get them out. So I used a pack and I made it, I mixed it up as one of my deodorants. So it's great. Kaolin clay actually sucks out, pulls out the excess oil. So if you are going through that, you can just apply some kaolin clay with adding some, some uh, you know, uh, rose water or something and then you can make a pack and apply it on those areas. So just going back to this um, aluminum thing. Um, so what happens if we can't find a good aluminum free deodorant then do you recommend that we not wear deodorant or that we find you know some kind of alternative no definitely i do not recommend you guys not and anybody using no deodorant because um i mean that's not hygienic for yourself it's not about the other people smelling you or anything it's not good for yourself so definitely um it is available. You need to just go on Google, search aluminium free uh, deodorant and you will find number of, you know, places where you can buy it. If not, like me, make the effort and make it. It is as simple as that. And I will be making it super soon on my channel so you can have a look. Yes, we're gonna, we will let you know as soon as Bami has posted anything yes. about the aluminum free uh, deodorant that she's making herself. Yes. And I also will like to use it because I don't <laughs> know how to do it myself. So um, can you suggest a good moisturizer for summer? Uh, dermatologists suggest that your moisturizer should be odorless. What's your take on this? I completely agree with that. I have been using the Emoline moisturizer, like I mentioned. It is uh, very watery based, so it's not heavy. It's not too, um, you know, uh, what do we say, heavy on my skin. So because of that, I really recommend the Emoline cream. It's for two ninety nine. You can uh, buy it in a, in a chemist. Other than that, I truly, truly love the Cetaphil Dam moisturizer it is amazing if you guys are dealing with really dry dry skin cetaphil dam moisturizer is amazing yeah, i also use cetaphil and i love it especially for moisturizing i think it's one of yes one of the best one of the best there is out there um so i think that might be it so far if you have any last minute questions ask me now i have three minutes to give you uh, if not, you know, Vamika, is there anything else that we may have missed that you might want to mention? I truly um, think that you guys <laughs> need to uh, not only just take care of your skin, but even what you're drinking and eating is something that you need to look into. Try, uh, like I love the fact that someone asked me about keto, which is great because yes, it is booming right now and I definitely feel that it makes a difference. Try it out, see how your body can, will it accept it, will it not? Try and have, uh, you know, grass feed shots in the morning or aloe vera juice in the morning, something that you can start and boost your body with. Avoid your dark, you know, your black coffee first thing in the morning. I don't suggest that. Avoid your tea. It does cause, uh, you know, acidity and all. So get into juices more and maybe coffees can come after two o'clock. I shouldn't be saying anything because I'm a big coffee drinker. But <laughs> what's, your favorite, what's your favorite kind of juice? Let's end it on a... You know, my favorite kind of juice. Oh, okay, so matcha is life for me. I am a matcha addict. I love... Um, but matcha is tea, right? Yeah, but I put it in my smoothies. Okay. So I add my... Uh, I, I, my favorite one right now is uh, mango, avocado, banana, kale, matcha. Into it, I add some water. I do not put anything else. Just water. I add my chia seeds, some um, sunflower seeds. Grind that up, put some ice, and I'm ready to drink it. Awesome. Okay, well, I think with that, we will draw this to a close. I just want to remind you that we definitely want to still hear from you. We will still answer what questions you have. So if you have any other questions, please submit them to famhealth.in. Uh, you know, we definitely want to use this to make a community for everything health, as we like to say here. And we want you to go online and share your experience, share a face pack recipe that you have that you feel has worked for you. Share with us. Um, you know, if you use anything that Vamika recommended, yes, and, please let know, me know. <laughs> yeah, we are here. We want this to continue to be a way for us here at Fam Health to have a conversation with everyone. 
And whatever we can do to include you in the conversation, we're happy to do it. So keep in touch with us. Let us know. And definitely yeah, let's take care of each other. If you enjoy this, <laughs> drop us a comment on famhealth.in and any questions or anything else you may have. So thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Bye.